Ladies and gentlemen, this is an exciting day. I am I'm thoroughly excited. Le a legend in my life is here. The big okay. show is here. Woo! Thank you very much for having me. I always love that term legend. That just means I've been around for a while and survived <laughs> attrition. So there you go. Yes. He actually introduced himself to me as Paul, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, why do you why do you choose to go with the uh, government name on intros? Like, oh, I know the it's government the same name? Thing. Yeah. yeah, my slave name. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's who I am. I mean, I'm Paul. I mean, uh, you know, the big show to me, I think when people introduce themselves by their character names, I think it's a little ostentatious and a little, make sure you know that I'm the big show. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm the big show. I'm just a regular guy, too. Well, no, no, you're not a regular guy. Well, I'm supersized. I'm not familiar it's with okay. the wrestling arena. Yes, Rosenberg's a huge fan, so you're new to me. So when I saw your presence, I was like, whoa. Right. I, I tend to stick out in the crowd. How tall are you? Seven foot. And how much do you weigh? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> I think I weighed in the other day at 436. Wait, now that's down a few pounds. You, yeah, you it's some down weight? in my career. Yeah, I'm keeping the weight off as I get older. Um, it's just better on the joints. Better and, on your health. And uh, better just all the way around health-wise, you know. A lot more salad. So if I start sprouting a tail and bunny ears, I'll back off the salads. <laughs> but uh, one part of my career, I was up to like 530. Mm. So, uh, 100 you know, pounds bigger than you are right now. 100 pounds heavier. Doing a lot of things to be smarter as we get older. You know, we're young, we're reckless and think we'll live forever. You get a little bit older, you're like, mm, I really like what I'm doing, so let's uh, put some effort into to help. A couple of items on the size topic since we're there, and that's obviously a conversation I'm sure you have a lot. Ways of living and all those ways of eating, is that something like you're an advocate for? You know, for a long time I was buck wild and I smoked cigarettes and, wow. you know, drank fists of Jack Daniels. It was probably like rock and roll back in the day. Um, you know, I've got a 15-year-old daughter now and want to spend a lot more time with her. And I think uh, youth is wasted on the young. Uh, I got into doing some training with a friend of mine, <laughs> Dob Romero, down in Miami, who uh, worked with A-Rod a lot. I had ridden a bike since I was 14. And he had me on a bike my second trip in the Glades doing 19 miles on this track. And I had to tell him, I love your motivation. There's like alligators <laughs> on the side of the track. There's like Florida Panthers. There's I, li I like your motivation. If I stop, I'll die. It's great. Appreciate it, man. So, But we really got into that. We did a, a big 50-mile bike ride, him and I did. Um, uh, we did a swim. Uh, we do a lot of that good stuff. I did a swim in, the, in Miami and uh, was laughing when I got out of the water because, you know, I was definitely shark bait. You know, they're like, hey, there goes a buffet. Look at him. All right. I want to eat for a week. Yeah. What's the most annoying thing um, day to day about your size or how easily recognizable you are because of your size? The recognizability is a little bit of a pain sometimes, but you have to approach that with a little bit of humility. I always try to, as best as I can, uh, I'm not, you know, completely innocent, but as best as I can, I try to give every fan a good experience. Uh, sometimes you're pushing for a flight and you can't stop and take a picture and, and chat. Yeah, you can't, and, you, and, it, and it still bugs me a little bit, you know. Because um, you feel like that one person walked away thinking, oh, Big Show wasn't nice. Yeah, and it's not that I want to let him down. I mean, yeah, I have a role to play on TV, and, and I play my character well as a bad guy, but, uh, you know, at the same time, my ultimate goal is to make sure our fans have a great experience every time they come to our shows, whether they boo me or hate me. And in, in getting a chance to meet someone that they've seen on TV or someone that they idolize, I try to give everyone a good experience and sometimes it's not physically manageable. And I think if I'm in that mood where I know I'm going to be grumpy that day, I just stay home. How do the ladies respond to you? Uh, <laughs> you know, this, this is really funny coming from a really, really tall, beautiful woman who's on radio, which is like <laughs> such a waste because she should be on TV. I, she's going to be. Don't worry. She's got a reality show coming. There's a lot coming with Fox, her. Fox, you will see beautiful, you will see Fox, beautiful on K TV. Fox on she TV. She's stunning. She's right? a lovely Thank lady. Thank you. I, fantastic. It's not easy to do nothing in the morning and look like this, you know? Uh, we know, oh, K Fox. Wow, just brag. Well, trust me. I spent, Joking. I spent 30 minutes doing my hair this morning. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it's. Uh, you get love from the ladies? though yeah you do um i think some of them are, are, are a little tad bit aggressive because they look at me like mount everest like i need to conquer that and it's like wow. yo you need to slow your roll a little bit <laughs> and, and i always try to make jokes and be funny because i know that sometimes yeah i mean i was six two at 12 so i i know i mean i remember parents being terrified wow. for me to play football with their kids like i mean the petitions like banning me and i, I played football at 11 and at 12 i was six two two twenty mm. And they wouldn't let me play. I was too big. Wow. You know, I think the weight cutoff was like 160 at 12 or something wow. like that. And the parents were very adamant about it. And, and I had one parent one time. Um, uh, I used to kick off. I played soccer. I was a real good athlete. So I did our kickoffs. And 
And, uh, you know, they all formed that little wall in, in high school. And the wedge. Tried to, the yeah. wedge. And I went through it like a bowling ball and just smashed some kid's collarbone and shoulder to pieces. And, and his mom came on the field and uh, threw a cup, you know, the, the plastic high school cups mm-hmm. full of soda and some kind of alcohol, whatever it was. Threw it in my face and called me a mongoloid. Came around the field. I remember asking my friends, "Going, it's one of my favorite insults that she pulled out, though. It's, it's such a dated reference." <laughs> no, but, but I, I just looked at my friends. And, well, what's a mongoloid? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I, I didn't know what it was, and I just, you know, and I understand, you know, at the time. I mean, I'm a parent now. I mean, I, I would be nervous about my kid playing with someone like that. So I've tried to use my size uh, and try to make people at ease with it and not be. You know, intimidating and not being a bully. You know, I, I, we do a lot of the BSTAR programs, mm-hmm. anti bullying campaign in schools, and it's funny to see the reaction of the kids that would never expect someone like me that went through that. And, and you know, it's happened. This is super exciting for me and for wrestling fans in New York. It's the first time WWE's been in Brooklyn. And there, I'm excited about it. I've been in almost every arena in the world, I've done a, an arena in France. It was built in 300 AD by the Romans, and they had <laughs> gladiator games and so much history. And now I'm in Brooklyn. The yeah, Barclay. this is going to be crazy. So Sunday night, it's TLC. And who's your match? What do you have uh, Sunday night? I have a big, uh, red-headed, pasty mm. white, hard-hitting Neanderthal Sheamus. Yeah, you and Sheamus one more time. And what's the stipulation ah, on that match? It's a chairs match. Chairs match. He wanted a chairs match. That shows you how bright this guy is. He wanted he wanted to put a steel chair in my hand. Okay, hey. People may not know that means that no matter what you may believe about wrestling, when Big Show leaves the building on Sunday night, he will have been smashed with a metal chair many times. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah that's yeah. happening on Sunday. That's what his Sunday is going to involve. So yeah. my, my 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 Sunday involves getting getting beat like you know like I owe somebody money. Yeah. And now are these what type of folding chairs are these? these? Are your regular metal folding chairs. These are straight from the uh, the as multi-purpose Mick, Mick room Foley, at elementary school. Yes, chair. as Mick yeah. Foley always says, he's still looking for the fake chair. Doesn't, yeah. it doesn't exist. We're Big Show, you got, you're on an episode of uh, Burn Notice. You've always done a lot of acting things. Yeah, it's a, it's it's the encore after their season finale. It's, it's uh, WWE week on USA. I think uh, Thursday night I'm doing, uh, after the uh, season finale, they're doing an encore of the episode that I was on. Friday night, I think Punk's hosting Game Plan uh, on WWE week. And I think coming out uh, end of February, I've got an episode on Psych, too. So it's uh, pretty good. It's a great thing about being partners with USA. I can browbeat the USA executives when they show up to WWE and put them in a corner and say, look, man, you need to get me on this show. <laughs> Last week, I actually going, yo, man, I need to be on White Collar. You feeling me? <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Big Show. We'll get you on White Collar. So, you know, I mean, you know, if I can only get that kind of stroke in Hollywood, like Rock, like Rock got in there. He does that in real life. He does that for oh, big movies. I, just I was on a plane with Rock uh, a couple months ago, I guess, when he was coming around, and I'm sitting next to him, and I'm a, I'm a big gamer. Like, I like Call of Duty. I played some Halo. Um, PS3, I'm a huge God of War fan. I mean, I'm really good at God of War. And I was looking at Rock, and he's getting so big and so jacked. I mean, he's just, the food, his food is like stacked up. Like, if I ate that much, I'd explode. And he's half my size. So the calories he's burning, the workouts he's doing. It's crazy. And I'm looking at him like, I mean, you look like Kratos. You know, he goes, Kratos. I just, you know, God of War. He goes, oh, 2013, I'm going to shoot God of War. And I'm like, you gonna, you gonna be God of War? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love that game. You don't even know what it is. Like, um, now, real quick, before I let you go, let's play a quick round of things white people don't care about with the Big Show. With the Big Show, he's let's at go. The, he's at the. I don't bar- know if I count, man. I've got you know. Marks told me a long time ago that I'm you know a black man and white man's body. Oh, we'll so find out. He does have some nice swag about him. He does uh, have swag, right? Yeah. He All just right. tried to holler at K Fox two seconds. He's already. I wasn't at K- hollering. I was being a gentleman and complimentary. Oh, and you Jeez. like Rihanna, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and he likes Rihanna. No, he came in singing Rihanna Diamonds. Oh, like really? Like singing it. Okay, well, listen. Yeah, yeah, you can, I, I you got, can catch him this weekend, TLC, Barclays Center. Uh, it's going to be an incredible pay-per-view. So we're going to ask you a few things, and you tell us whether or not you care, all right? All right. Here we go. Evelyn Lozada of Basketball Wives and formerly married to Ocho Cinco posed nude for PETA. Posed nude for PETA? Good for her. You support it? Um, I think PETA's a good cause. Um, Do you know yeah. what she looks like, Evelyn Lozada? Um, yeah. You're not impressed? I don't know. I, I'm i married myself. I don't, you know, I appreciate, you know, everything from the name of charity, but I don't want my wife or my ex-wife posing nude anywhere. I just, you know. Wife or ex-wife. You wife. Or, yo, he's got he's, things on lock He keeps things on way. lock. He I'm sounds like Cypher Sounds. Look, if I ever had sex with you ever, you can't do anything You don't get naked without hollering at the show. <laughs> 
All right, how about this? Um, friends of Cat Williams are worried that he's bipolar and schizophrenic. He has been wilding out the last few weeks. We don't know if you've seen what he's been doing, but now people are saying this could be because he may be bipolar. I don't know. Either that or he got a bad dose of weed. Mm-hmm. I mean, Cat's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when you got that kind of comic genius, crazy stuff's going to happen. Leave the brother alone. Let him work it out. So he doesn't care. Let Cat live. All right, and last thing. It's Hanukkah, man. And I don't know if you know this, but not only myself, but Drake and Shine all celebrate Hanukkah. Okay. Do you care about this? I celebrate Kwanzaa. That's right. <laughs> like a true black man. I knew he had swag. Like a true black man. <laughs> According to this email I have, last one, WWE Hall of Famer, legend in his own right, Tony Atlas, loves women's feet so much that apparently it's come to our attention he pays them to stomp on his fe- face. Yes. Just say you're into that too. <laughs> no. Not into feet, bro. Not I'm not me neither. I'm not into feet. You know, you know, I keep your feet to yourself. I'm That's gonna, weird because you have a small foot yourself. Yeah, I've got an eighteen, but you know, my wife refers to my feet as the bear claw. So, you know Isn't like I read like eighteen five E six E. Yeah, it's, it's a big Fred Flintstone foot. What yeah. is, what kind of shoes can you even wear? New balance, that it? New balance. Although it's an American company, I'm not going to knock New Balance. No, that's true. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I have a big foot. I It's a good, solid foundation. My favorite is when I got a guy that comes up to me that's six foot two and says, I wear a size 19. Okay, so you got abnormally weird large feet. <laughs> I'm proportional. Yours match.